from inspiration to installation. Get the floors you'll love at LL Flooring. Right now, get up to 20% off in-stock floors and more at the Summer Refresh Sale. My weight affected everything. My A1C was up to a 12. I was tired, unhealthy, and I couldn't do the things I love. West Medical and Foothill Regional's innovative weight loss procedure can change your life. I lost 132 pounds. My A1C is down to a 5. I feel healthy, energetic, and most importantly, I got my life back. Plus, my insurance paid for my procedure. Call 1-800-WEST-MED for a free consultation and PPO insurance verification. I feel incredible because I called 1-800-WEST-MEDICAL. We're at a STEM summer camp for girls that teaches them to build and launch rockets in hopes of igniting a career in science in TechSmart. Wednesday at 5 a.m. Now at noon, some local officials are speaking out against reinstating L.A. County's indoor mask mandate. Thanks for joining us for the KTLA 5 News at Noon. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. County health officials could bring back indoor masking rules this week. But not every local official is on board with that idea. KTLA 5's Corrine Winter live in Beverly Hills, where a reinstated mandate might not be enforced. Corrine? Well, Glenn, I spoke with the mayor of Beverly Hills this morning, and she said it really just comes down to enforcement. And she says right now the city is not willing to do that. She did mention that back in 2020, when L.A. County put into effect its mask and requirements that at that time, yes, Beverly Hills did comply. She says right now we're living in different times. And she says if it goes into effect on Friday, well, they will not be enforcing the rules. We had over two and a half hours of, of public comment. Uh, about 75 people uh, voiced their opinion. Out of the 75 that uh, contacted us, three of them did support the county mandate. Uh, but how we felt was, you know, this Beverly Hills is still currently under LA County Public Health, but it's really a function of how we as a city use our enforcement issues. And the mayor is saying that they heard from residents during a special meeting that was held yesterday. Now, if the county reinstates its mask requirements for certain indoor areas, you just heard the mayor saying that she wouldn't abide by that order, which could return on Friday with a mandate taking effect. That's if the CDC's high COVID-19 community transmission level remains at that threshold through the week. Now, as for the county's numbers, it just reported its largest week over week decline in cases in a month. Daily cases have dropped 11% from the previous week, but still high based on CDC's parameters. Masks are still required on all types of public transportation in L.A. County and in other indoor spaces. A broader mandate would extend the requirement to all indoor public spaces like retail stores, indoor restaurants, bars, and also schools. Now, some elected county leaders, they've been quite outspoken about the possible reinstatement of a masking order in L.A. County. County Supervisor Catherine Barger released an open letter saying, quote, they are polarizing and unenforceable. We all know um, after two and a half years what is effective. Wearing a mask is effective. I am not an anti-masker. What I am is an anti-mandating that masks be worn in L.A. County when every county around us is not mandating that. While COVID is here and, and, and it can be severe, um, it is definitely not the COVID when we first encountered it two and a half years ago. And that's uh, County Supervisor Catherine Barger outlining her position on whether uh, she supports return of masking in L.A. County. She's been quite outspoken on the issue. In fact, the Board of Supervisors are holding a special meeting right now. We've been listening to that, monitoring any possible developments. And um, if warranted, we'll bring you all of those details coming up on later editions of KTLA 5 News. That's the latest here in Beverly Hills. Kareem Winter, KTLA 5 News. Back to you in the studio. Kareen, thank you. LAX is dealing with a COVID outbreak among at least 400 TSA employees and workers at two major airlines. The outbreak among TSA staffers was first detected on June 9th. Since then, at least 233 employees have tested positive for COVID. The two airlines also seeing outbreaks include American and Southwest Airlines. The TSA outbreak is the largest active outbreak being monitored by the L.A. County Department of Public Health right now. Well, despite the number of cases reported, both LAX and TSA say services have not been impacted.
Developing news, Caltrans crews are working hard to clear away the remaining standing water and debris from a portion of the Hollywood Freeway. Both sides of the freeway were flooded today because of a broken water main. KTLA finds Alina Abovian in East Hollywood with a look at how things are going. Alina. Well, they've been at it now for nearly nine hours. Glenn, good afternoon. And they still are very hard at work because this was a pretty big situation. Now, take a look over this way. I want to show you first the southbound side of the freeway. Uh, you can see they are still working. They have a pump out at this hour. They've been pumping away for nearly two hours, but still a lot of water to get off this side of the freeway. You can also see the Santa Monica on-ramp is closed. They're trying to keep the freeway as clear as possible while they work to clear all this out. Over on the northbound side, you can see two lanes have reopened, so the traffic is moving much better compared to earlier this morning. And the good news is, you can see over this way, uh, they have these trucks coming by. They're trying to clear the water out, but a lot of it has already been pumped out of this area. Now, this is Santa Monica and Hobart. This is where that water main broke very early this morning. It led to a pretty major flood here on the 101 freeway. Caltrans is still here moving that water out. At this point, there is no word on when things will reopen. According to the latest from the DWP, this was an 8-inch cast iron main. It broke early around 3 a.m. this morning. We do not know exactly what caused the burst. The California Highway Patrol at 5 a.m. this morning was seen escorting drivers through the freeway, which was flooded with up to two feet of water in some areas. Cars were seen hydroplaning on the freeway, trying to maneuver through it all to stop the water. The DWP shut off power, uh, rather water, to eight connections to some local residences out here. CHP also closed three lanes on both sides. The northbound is starting to clear up a little more. The southbound is just completely covered up to the, the one lane. So I wish I could give you a number, but honestly, it's just obviously the morning commute is just done with. So uh, we hope that by the, the afternoon. And by afternoon, according to CHP, they're hoping that by 1 o'clock, which is an hour from now, that all lanes will reopen here on the northbound side, southbound side of the 101 freeway. But in my guess, it might take just a little bit longer than that, possibly until 2 o'clock today to get everything reopened. In the meantime, if you can, avoid the 101 freeway. I'm Lena Berman, reporting live in East Hollywood, KTLA 5 News. Yeah, caught a little bit of that this morning. Yeah. Yeah. I saw I saw it. I thought about all my coworkers that are <laughs> probably gonna hit it as well. <laughs> and just thought, oh, not gonna affect me. Yep. That means it's your lucky day, so you should play the lottery tonight. Yep, already as been we all there, should. Yeah. That. Uh, hazy sunshine <laughs> over Los Angeles. Still seeing a little bit of cloud cover, though, along the coast. And temperatures will be a little bit below average again today. Downtown yesterday made it up to 81 degrees. 83 is normal for this time of year. And it's uh, 76 in Santa Ana right now. Low 70s for Santa Monica. 90